Okay, so I just want to clarify a couple things here. So I woke up today to messages, voicemails, uh, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, all this stuff that pretty much making it sound like Evergreen Park and the south side of Chicago, Evergreen Park, Oakland, Mount Greenwood were under attack by looters and rioters. So I immediately feel some fear. So I drive my son back home to Downers Grove. On the way back, I'm like, you know what? I want to look into this. I mean, I even heard he was getting messages and I was getting messages that there were protests on 111th and Kedzie. And so I was like, I want to go see this myself. So I drove past 111th and Kedzie first. There was four people just standing on the corner with signs. Um, and then I'm like, I have to go see what's going on in Evergreen Park by the Walmart. Because that was the, the, it seemed like the focus was based around that. I drove over there. Um, granted, this was uh, probably about an hour ago. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what time it is right now. But uh, there was a police pre uh, presence, yes. Even in Oak Lawn down 95th Street, the Target. There's a, there's a solid police presence. And there should be. Because we don't know what's going to happen. Um, my point was that. Literally, I'm seeing people talking about arming themselves and being ready to shoot and do all this stuff because we're being invaded on the south side here. And it's like, guys, it's not um, it wasn't that bad right now. Now, granted, earlier, there may have been a couple things here or there. Um, but when I was there, it was fine. Everything was fine. Now, they're and being being cautious and being ready for tonight. Because it seems like during the day in all these cities, the days are cool, uh, peaceful protests, but it seems like all the assholes come out at night. So I like the fact that our first responders are preparing for that, and that's fine. But people, I don't want unnecessary fear being spread here. Like my son started after I dropped him off, he's scared. And a lot of people are scared. I'm getting messages right now. Once I finish this video, I have to call people because people are concerned. And there should be concern. But there should be cautious concern here. There's not people storming down uh, Kedzie right now or Western. It's just not what's happening. And I understand everyone's talking about police scanners. And absolutely, I get it. But I don't care what a police scanner says when I'm over there and I'm seeing that it's not as bad as people are saying. Also, if you listen to a police scanner just now, it's going to sound a lot different than if you're used to listening to them all the time. When you listen to a police scanner, there's a lot of stuff that's on there. You're hearing a lot of things. So I'm saying keep keep all of this in mind before you start really getting scared. Like understand that there is not a group of people that are storming down um, Western and Kedzie right now. Well, could it possibly happen? Who knows? But I'm saying right now because I started getting really nervous and anxious because I'm worried that where I live, there's a group of people down the street that are ready to storm all over here. So instead of just building on that fear and talking about that fear on social media, I got my ass in my car and I drove over to see for myself what was going on. So please just understand. I'm not saying that um, there aren't little incidents here or there. I'm not saying that. But it's not at all as blown up like it is. I literally ended up driving to Crestwood because I had people telling me, telling my girlfriend, that the Crestwood, Walmart, and Target were on fire. So I drove by. Nothing's on fire. There's no rioters, no looters, no nothing. So please just think about this before you start playing this, this fearful game of telephone because you're going to spread fear. If you see it yourself, absolutely. Post that shit. Uh... Send the pictures, do all that stuff. But people are, are spreading so much stuff through hearsay. And that's not how any of this gets addressed or fixed or alleviated. There is fear right now. There's coronavirus fear. There's fear because there are protests and there are criminals out there that, there that are doing bad. Are they the majority of these protesters? Absolutely not. The majority of these protesters are being extremely peaceful. You're going to have assholes in there, whether they're Antifa, whether they're white supremacists, whether they're whatever the fuck they are, okay? What these people are doing in the mo for the most part is extremely peaceful, and I commend them for what they're doing. They're protesting peacefully. So let's focus on that, and let's not get all bent out of shape based on 
what we're hearing that this person told us and this person told us, especially right now, if it's by you and obviously being as safe as you can, you can actually go and see. Don't just believe everything that you're seeing. Don't just be like, I'm listening to the police scanners and it's scaring me. Go out and see it for yourself. See it for yourself. And I hope everybody stays safe. And again, I want everyone to realize that I'm not saying that nothing happened in one spot or nothing happened in another spot. But from the posts that I was seeing, like pretty much my entire news feed was like, everyone batter down, get your guns ready, which I have no problem with guns at all. And right now is a good time for people to have them just to protect themselves in case. But I don't want people fearing that like there's a, there's a mob coming towards them. Because as of right now, where I just was, where there were apparently mobs, there was not. Where I just was in Crestwood, where there were apparently fires, there was not. There wasn't anything. So please, people, just think and do some ex- actual research before before you post or text somebody spreading fear. Say, I think, or maybe, but actually don't even do that because then it turns into telephone and people say, well, this is what's happening. So everyone, please be safe if you... Have guns, have them ready just in case, because you never know. You got to protect yourself. Um, But understand, it is not, this is a good example of social media, just throwing kerosene on something and igniting and spreading fear more than it needs to. Okay, peace.